Good morning, everyone. It's been a while since I've done a studio vlog on my main channel because I've actually been uploading these over on my side channel called Freely Mira. However, I've had a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and I really want to put this one on my main channel and share it with you. So that's what we're doing. So I just used up my planner and this was a really good year of plannering. <laughs> so I got my replacement one in the mail and here it is. It actually looks kind of similar, like the peaches sort of vibe. I stayed with it, but I got this from Ivory Paper Co. And I really like this brand because the girl who started this company actually lives in Columbus and I live in Columbus. I like to support local small businesses and this planner is awesome. So yeah, ah, let me just show you this layout. I love this layout so much. When everything is vertical like this, I can divide my day into three. So my work morning, my work afternoon, and then anything that's after work goes in this rectangle. And then there's goals, habits, gratitude, and next week. This is a little different than the other planner because they also had a column over here for additional notes and gratitude. But I think I like this better actually because I didn't always use the sides. Anyway, this is a really exciting week. It's a big week because I'm starting to work on my holiday boxes. So I've kind of hinted at this probably since the end of September, but that studio vlog didn't go out until like a week or two ago. So uh, the timeline seems weird. However, I have been working on a holiday box with enamel pins, notepads, stickers, prints, and everything in this box is exclusive to it. So I'm gonna show you like a little bit of a peek into the development of that throughout this vlog. And also, if you want one, you can go to mirabyler.com and they should be available now because by the time you guys see this, it's done. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pack some orders, but before we do that, I have something really cool to show you. They look like crazy with this tape. These notepads are beautiful. This is just, oh my goodness. I can't get over this. Ugh, look at the little moth. They turned out so nice. This is not the notepad that's gonna be in the holiday box. I have another one for that, but uh, I'm so excited about this one. Ooh! Okay, so I have to show you a couple more notepads though. Oh my goodness, these turned out so good. Okay, so these are the notepads that are gonna be in the holiday box. And guys, <laughs> look how cute they are. So there are 300 of those Blubblefly notepads because there's gonna be around 300 boxes. And the way I'm doing this is so cool. Like, you guys are gonna know what enamel pin and what notepads are in the box, but the prints and the stickers, there's gonna be an element of mystery to it. So that's cool. There's gonna be like four different prints and they actually came from that acrylic painting video that I talked about, but each box will have two prints and you won't know which ones you're getting. So that's kind of exciting. And then stickers, yeah, that's a whole nother thing. We'll get to it later. Anyway, I'll take you with me into my packing room and it is chaos in here right now. We are getting ready for the holidays and it's been fun. Also, I just owe a lot of you guys a huge thank you because orders have been a little backed up lately and I usually get stuff out within a week or two, but I had a bit of an asthma flare up. Things were a little rough for a while and when all that happened, I was slammed with orders. So I'm still catching up. I have 20 orders left to ship today and then I will be at zero. So if you are one of those 20 people, your order's going out tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have a couple new thank you cards that I've been using the last few weeks. I really like this one. <laughs> then there's this one, which has been really suitable for fall and winter. I really like this one too. And then there's this one, but it kind of printed off center. So I don't use it super often unless people order moth related things. Cause I try to match thank you cards with the style of stuff that people order in my shop. Like if people order florals, they get this card. So I packed a lot of orders and oh my goodness, I just carried a lot of stuff inside. I went shopping this morning and got like a lot of Christmas decorations. <laughs> so I got a little pillow for my art studio. I'm gonna put it here in my little couch. It's so cute, I love it. That's probably the extent of the Christmas cheer for this room. Unless I decide to redecorate that, but I just decorated it. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. I need to scan these and turn these little paintings into prints for my holiday box. And this cute cat one here too. That's pretty much the only thing left I have to do today because I kind of blew through shipping orders. I have like a couple orders left to pack, but yeah, that's cool. Okay, I have a question of the day for you guys because my friends and I were talking about this a couple weeks ago of like weird confessions that we do, but like nobody really talks about it. So I wanna know if you do this too. When you are like in your planner and you have to cross off tasks, do you ever like add something that you already did that's like really little just so you can cross it off? Like for me, I always add like, do a load of laundry because I did laundry and then I cross it off. I don't know, it just makes me feel accomplished and my friends do it too. So I figured I would ask you guys if you do this as well because I feel like a lot of people probably do it but we just don't admit it. So tonight I still need to design thank you cards for the holiday boxes and then order the prints for the holiday boxes and get stickers figured out. I would like there to be five or six different sticker designs and then each box comes with like three or four stickers but you don't know what ones you're getting. So that's the plan. I also started watching a cheesy Christmas movie though and it's only November 2nd. We'll see how much I actually get done tonight but I would like to launch these boxes by like November 15th or 17th somewhere around there because I want people to have enough time to order them. I should get a move on and stop being sidetracked. Dude, my boxes came. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They have my name on them, little candy canes and snowflakes and stuff. I actually sell like digital artwork clip art kind of stuff in another shop that's not related to Mira Byler whatsoever. But I pulled some of the clip art that I designed from that 
for this box because that business <laughs> focuses pretty heavily on holiday stuff. So it was really convenient for me to use it for this. I can fit everything in here just perfectly and I'll only need one piece of tape to seal the box. So this is awesome. <laughs> and I also purposely made it one inch deep because my large boxes are two inches deep. And if people order large prints with their holiday boxes, they can still enjoy getting the actual box because I know that's going to be like a big part of the experience. I think I'm going to film a little bit of my how to fill your sketchbook video right now. And it might come out actually like before this studio vlog comes out because I'm doing a stamp video this week. I'm starting my sketchbook video this week. Oh, it usually takes me like two or three weeks to film the sketchbook videos though, so we'll see. I'm in like a voiceover -y mood for some of my art videos lately though, because when I do bigger projects and I wanna take my time talking while I'm doing it, um, it makes editing <laughs> take forever. So sometimes it's just easiest for me to do a voiceover. I am sitting at my dining room table getting ready to pack these Blubblefly notepads into their sleeves. It's been a long day. I got all my stickers figured out and took orders to the post office. I was priding myself being all caught up on my orders and then nine orders came in. <laughs> so it's safe to say we are in the holiday rush now. Carissa and Leah are coming over tomorrow to help me fold boxes, so that will be really nice. And I think Dorv is gonna help me with some of this stuff too. We'll see. He's cleaning out the garage right now so our cars can fit inside. <laughs> I am setting up my cameras for a video that I would like to film today. Just gotta get my memory cards here. Change the batteries. I am getting ready to film a sketchbook tour. Get my batteries in this camera. This will be a quick and easy video to film. However, this video <laughs> took like a year to prepare because filling a sketchbook is a very time consuming thing. I don't know, it kind of feels weird when you sit down and film a tour and it's like, wow, that took me maybe 30 minutes. That was the quickest video I've ever made. But then you look back and you're like, oh, that actually was not the quickest video I've ever made. Let's film this video and then later tonight we're gonna fold a bunch of holiday boxes with my friends and start prepping that. I'm so excited. I'm also doing laundry and I need to clean my house, so. I have a lot to do. Leah and Carissa are here folding boxes with me. Yeah. <laughs> this is what they look like. It's cool because if you look really closely, you can see Mira Byler. Here's some. Carissa has a tower. I'm working on it. I want to see how many boxes tall I am. It's going to be exciting. We'll have a tower at the end of this. <laughs> Leah's got her tower. Small but mighty. Oh yeah. And her water bottle. Does anything look familiar there? <laughs> <laughs> and some Christmas ornaments. Christmas music is not until after Thanksgiving. But 
but like it's okay to have it on every now and again from like actually starting now it could be, it could be okay every now and again like i would listen to christmas music with you guys but like i will not listen to christmas music on my way to work tomorrow <laughs> Do you hear that level of dedication? <laughs> really <laughs> we finished the boxes. Yeah. Here's my living room. It is like a maze right now. So that's exciting. I am very thankful for them. <laughs> now to fill them. Exciting stuff. So here's the notepads. They finally came in. They're so cute. I've been packing them up all day, so that's exciting. They'll go in their boxes soon. Here's the ones that are already packaged. I would say I'm about halfway through, so good times. Hey folks, it's a couple days later and I have some packages that I'm opening up. Surprise, surprise. My enamel pins came in. So we're gonna take a peek at them and then package them together. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. Oh my word, hold it. My goodness, it melts my heart. Look how cute they are. Ah, oh, I can't wait to package them. There's a lot of them here too because there are 300 pins because there are 300 holiday boxes, which guys, this is a lot of work <laughs> getting them ready. But it's been really fun. And to me, like planning this has been kind of therapeutic, so. Yeah. Do you guys want to see what the backing cards look like? Uh, I love that. Oh my word. This is seriously going to look so cute with the fox. I can't wait. It is a really cold, rainy, windy, dreary, gross day outside, and I've been busy all day. All my Cozy Fox enamel pins are packaged. That took me two days. That was 300 pins, and my goodness. Hey folks, guess what I'm getting ready to do? I'm filming my stamp carving video. I'm so excited because uh, I've just had some fun ideas living inside my mind for a really long time. And look at this, the carving blocks are this beautiful bright blue. Uh, I can't wait to use them. I am literally going to like carve 
stamps, <laughs> meaning like it's they're gonna look like postage stamps. So I'm excited for that. It's kind of been something I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I finally have time to do it now. So, ooh, this jar, did something spill in here? Mm, I don't know. You potent, we gonna close you. Also, uh, this stamp here. Oh my goodness, did it melt? What is going on? Something, I told you something weird was going on in that jar. Okay, we have some tools. I did not put that back in the handle. Dangerous. Don't be like me. Time to create. Oh my word. This is the crinkle paper I'm using for the holiday boxes. The color is gorgeous. It's like a deep bluish green. Perfect. I didn't want like the classic Christmas green. Um, I wanted this <laughs> and I'm so happy with it because the boxes themselves are like a mint color. So yeah, that side by side. Mm. Love it. Hello, it is shop launch day. And let's see, so far we have sold 39 holiday boxes. I was originally planning to have 300 of these boxes, but I have to explain something. When I was inspecting enamel pins, this pin design here is really detailed compared to a lot of pins that I've done in the past. So we're gonna have quite a few B grade pins. So I was thinking I'll probably release B grade boxes like December 1st or something. That way these pins don't go to waste and some people can get discounted holiday boxes. I don't know how many there will be because I still need to clean and polish the flawed pins. Usually I can save a handful of them. I'm honestly really surprised that 39 boxes have already sold. Like, I was not expecting that because I feel like I have not advertised this very much yet. I mean, I've only posted on Instagram and I haven't posted very much. So I'm just really thankful. And yeah, I poured my heart into this for months. So this is cool. Anyway, I need to go and clean my house because we have family staying with us this weekend. But let me show you something cute. Well, first of all, our guest room is kind of chaotic right now because I'll just show you. So when you walk in here, this entire wall is literally my holiday boxes and I still have to assemble them, but yeah, that's where we're at. And then here's like the guest room part. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Evangeline is here helping me package prints. Oh, oh, my <laughs> <laughs> She's my future sister-in-law. I'm so excited. So fun. 
You also just got a um, peek at the mystery prints. Here's the possibilities, but no promises. Okay, so the launch just happened and I have 93 orders to pack right now. That doesn't even include like all the holiday boxes because a fair amount of these were from before the launch. Anyway, I just got a shower and I'm gonna spend a lot of time packing orders. <laughs> I also need to list these original paintings in my shop. They're in here right now, but yeah. I think I'm gonna do like a mini painting launch for the holidays and also launch wooden painted ornaments. So I probably packed about 20 orders today. Went to the post office and I got an application for a new P.O. box because my current P.O. box is like 35 minutes away because I moved and that's just not doable anymore. Please do not mail me anything. No letters, nothing right now. My P.O. box is moving and I probably will not get your stuff in the other one because I will be closing it soon. But as far as this video goes, we're gonna end the vlog here because I have a lot of other things to do and I want this video to go up tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty folks, thank you so much for watching and just chilling with me, hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're having a good day. See you in a little bit with another video. Bye.